we have covered a lot of a lot of stuff already and we know when we publish a desktop and applications through workspace client has to search for it either through the feed url or through his own id if the dns is all configured properly and if client has the access or the user has the access to any of the uh, avd stuff desktop or applications remote applications he, he could see the workspace then what he'll do he'll subscribe the workspace so as soon as he's he look for or she look for the workspace there is a prompt there is this prompt uh, let me highlight it so that it could be seen properly there is this the, there is this prompt and uh, as soon as id and passwords are in to this prompt this will go to the azure ad and azure ad will authenticate it and send the token back token back to the client okay now this token this token uh, client passes to the feed subscription service and azure virtual desktop feed subscription service validates the token okay so let me write this down here there is a token okay now once the feed subscription service validates this token then uh, available list list of available resources would be shown on the uh, client's workspace like access maybe maybe he or she has the access to the remote desktop or the application it will start showing on the client now when a user selects the resource to connect the client uses the associated dot rdp file and establish the secure tls 1.2 connection to the closest azure gateway so it will try to connect with, with any of the application which is which is there in in the workspace so this request will go to the gateway and gateway validates the request and asks broker to orchestrate the connection and here is the most important part well once it asks a connection broker to orchestrate the connection what it does because we know connection broker is also take care of the uh, load balancing in the in the host pool to the session host so it will find out the uh, session host that that is free or available or as per the load balancing that needed to be uh, connected to this client and what it will do well this desktop broker identifies the session host and uses the previously established persistent communication channel to initialize the connection and remote desktop stake initialize the tls 1.2 connection to the same azure virtual desktop gateway instance as used by the client so what let me highlight this what it is happening it will go like this like this and it will come back like this again okay now the request is going in the outbound outbound direction that is the important part. So after both client and session host connected to the gateway, the gateway starts relaying the raw data between both endpoints. This establishes the base reverse connect transport for the RDP. After the base transport is set, the client starts the RDP handshake. So that's how this entire connectivity works. So if we need to, <clears throat> understand it little better we can try this we can try this uh if it doesn't make any sense to you right now it will certainly now let's suppose this is a client okay we'll try to explain in a in a better way if and this is the azure let's suppose and this is and here we have azure avd with all other components azure abd 
with all other components like Azure AD, like uh, ABD pass components, and of course the uh, session host. So what is happening if you try to understand client will try to first figure out where is the workspace that he has the access to as soon as as soon as uh, he gets the uh, workspace he could figure out or find out the workspace that he has access to it will prompt for the id and password then request will go a prompt will become an authentication prompt will come and he will he will or she will of course authenticate through id and password or multi-factor authentication if there is then azure ad will send the token back to this uh, client and with this token client again send the request <clears throat> because once it is authenticated uh, it would start showing all those things that he has access to once you click on any of the remote app and desktop where, where he has access to it will again go to the request goes to the gateway gateway will ask to the these are the pass components of the azure AD. gateway will ask to the broker to find the uh, session host and hook it up then broker will go figure out the session host and inform it this to the gateway and now gateway has uh, now gateway has the both the session client and the uh, session host and then gateway will send let me change the color gateway uh, starts relaying the raw data between both the endpoints this establish the base reverse connect transport for the rdp then this gateway will send the connection here it is very clearly depicted in this uh, this right this is the architecture that i was trying to explain through ms paint and it is clearly uh, created pretty well here in on azure microsoft documentation where client is trying to access the session host via uh, gateway and broker and the web access so as soon as a uh, client tried to subscribe the workspace, there is an authentication prompt. So Azure AD, it goes to the Azure AD and Azure AD will send, it will go and verify it. Of course, you can see here, it gives all the information. It go and verify it and sends the token to the client. As soon as client has the token uh, and it, after the subscription feed will check the web access this pass component will check and provide all the uh, resources that client has access to could be the remote desktop could be the remote application and once this is done then it will try to access the uh, that particular resource could be remote desktop or application as we said so this request goes here, do not focus on this uh, arrow, just focus on this a thick blue line. It will, it will try to access that, let's suppose session host, it will go to the gateway. Now gateway will ask broker to figure it out and find out which session host is there. As soon as uh, uh, this gateway uh, find it out, it will provide that information to, uh, broker will provide that information to the gateway and then get, the gateway has both the connections active to the VM and to the client. And it will do this reverse connect uh, outbound flow of the traffic, not the inbound flow of the, of the traffic. So that's how this network connectivity happens. I hope this is clear now. Uh, hey, I tried. I know it got a little, little messy, but I hope in the, in, at the end, it would make all sense. Well, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.